back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் தி டுடேஸ் ডেইলি டெஸ்ட் சோ திஸ் இஸ் தி क्वेश्चन தட் இஸ் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் சேம் சப் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் சர்ச் சோ திஸ் क्वेश्चन வாட் வி ஹேவ் டு டு இஸ் வி மஸ்ட் கெட் டு இன்டிஜர் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் தட் இஸ் m1 and m2 and t as the input okay and the size of the matrix m1 is m cross n and the size of m2 is r cross c and then we must print the t cross t sub matrix which occurs in both matrices and the condition the given is if two or more such sub matrices occur in both matrices then we must print the first occurring sub matrices in m1 as the output and if no such sub matrix then we must print minus 1 as the output okay so today we are going to solve this one using the python language so initially i am going to create a function name find common sub matrix like that okay find common sub matrix and now we are getting the input the size of the first matrix so m and n so map of int comma input and dot split here okay just using like that and now the m1 that is the first matrix so getting in a list list of map of int comma input dot split here and out of that uh, here for underscore in range of m here okay and now we must get the read the uh, size of the second matrix so for that r comma c is equal to map of int comma input dot split here okay and now the matrix 2 so similarly getting in a list so list of map of int comma input dot split here and out of this for underscore in range of and here or okay and now we must get the size of the sub matrix so for that that is the t t is equal to int input like that and now we must uh, create another function to get all the t cross t sub matrices uh, from the matrix so for that function name get sub matrix so it's plural so i'm getting sub matrices uh, values of the matrix comma rows comma columns okay like that and now the sub matrices in a dict just keeping like that and now here for i in range of rows minus t okay just leaving a space here t plus 1 and here for j in range of columns minus t plus 1 here and now the sub matrix is equal to tuple of tuple matrix of i plus x cross j is to j plus t here okay capital t here and now out of these let's get here for x in range of t okay now um come to this now the sub matrices will be sub matrices of the sub matrix will be equal to i comma j here okay now we must return the sub matrix return sub matrices here and now we must get all the uh, t cross t sub matrices from both that so for that um just coming here the sub matrices of m1 is equal to the function 
get sub matrices of m1 comma m comma n here and similarly the sub matrices of m2 will be equal to get sub matrices of m2 comma r comma c here okay so let me save the code once again and now we must find the first common sub matrices so for that um, for sub matrix in sub matrices of m1 and if the sub matrix in sub matrices of m2 then for row in sub matrix we must print the row and now just using the return statement alone here and now if no common sub matrix is found we must print minus one as you know and just now i am here calling the main function common sub matrix here okay and now let us run the code and check for the output and if any error we might clear that okay so wow in my first attempt it get passed so if you like this video or finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching